Hi everyone, Bear from Bear Reads Books in my garage. <laughs> and the day has finally come. The, the bookshelves are done. I've migrated a lot of the, the stuff on my current bookcases onto those brand new bookshelves in my library. And I'm doing a big clean up of all the books that are left in my garage in boxes. And we've got on one side of the room stuff to go, on one side of the room stuff to stay. Ah, it's a sad day because tomorrow I'll do it. Well, today I'm going to do a quick re a quick look at the stuff I'm going to keep, a quick look at the stuff I'm going to unhaul, and then tomorrow it'll go to the charity shop, and then I'll start organising the books that are left. So this small pile behind me here, hence why I'm sitting in the garage, four boxes, five boxes, those five boxes amount to the books that I am keeping. One of those boxes is filled entirely with comic books, so that really won't go on a bookcase. I need to find some sort of more permanent storage for those. But So only four of those are filled with books. And then on the other side of the room, hang with me here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes of books, all to go to the charity shop. Boo hoo. There's some wonderful books in there and it was a wonderful thing that it was a, a wonderful process I went through today just to go through them all and to think about them as I went through them and and then wish them well as I sent them on their way to new owners. The general theme was university books that I no longer need at all and no longer have a use for. The university books that I kept were things like novels that I read, um, anthologies of works that actually included literary works that I will want to read again in the future. What's gone is all the literary criticism and the discussion and uh, as well as all the things that my wife studied as well. She studied French and linguistics. So a lot of that went. And a lot of the stuff and the, the fiction, the, the reading work that I'm getting rid of largely fell into these really big hardcover volumes. Um, there was a sensational amount of that. And multi volumes of things like dictionaries and encyclopedias that I've been carrying around. Now, when all of that information is at my fingertips on my phone, I really don't need to maintain half a dozen different dictionaries in my home. At the same time, I also do not need to maintain half a dozen different pictorial histories of something or other. So it was it was a difficult thing that I had to do today. Um, and the unhaul especially, let's have a look at the unhaul, if you don't mind. Give me one sec and I will grab some books to show you the types of books that went through and didn't make it onto the shelves. Okay. So we are, I am going to stay in the garage for this one. It's only a quick little show of things that I'm, the types of things that I'm unhauling. So I won't be with you long and it is very hot in this garage. So, um, but I'll, I'll stick, rather than go out in the garden with this big box of books, I thought I'd just do it right here and then I can put it back on the pile. So in broad themes, there was a lot of this sort of stuff going on. The Collins Co-Build English Language Dictionary. There was English French dictionaries, there was English Greek dictionaries, there was Gaelic dictionaries and German dictionaries and Japanese dictionaries, and then there was multi-volume um, encyclopedias. Yeah, so there was a ton of books, probably close to a ton of books, an actual physical ton of books. Um, but really, probably two of these large, two or three of these large boxes here would be filled with this type of book. And the other thing that I'm doing a lot of unhauling is these large hardcover volumes. Things like Bill Clinton, My Life. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I ever read it. And I never read this either, although there was a lot of discussion about it when it came out. The Family, or The Family, by Kitty Kelly. The Real Story of the Bush Dynasty. And uh, this came out with a lot of fanfare, in Australia at least, by Don Watson called The Bush. And it's about how Australians mythologise the, the outback and, and the bush. And it sounded great. And it's the sort of thing that Australians love to read. 
uh, I just didn't like it. I just didn't think he did a good job. Don Watson's written a ton of books about the Australian experience and they're always great. Just didn't go with this, so I'm going to ditch it. And um, general themes of just normal fiction that I'm unhauling as well. Um, Wally Lamb, if you've never read Wally Lamb, I haven't, <laughs> but I seemingly have three or four of his books. They're all massive. They're all this big. And I'm just not that invested in Wally Lamb that I'm going to pick up one of his books. I'm really sorry, Wally, but I had like three or four of these things, all thousand page tomes, all going uh, in the unhaul of 2020. And also, on a general theme, a lot of these mystery thriller type books, um, Richard North Patterson, uh, John Grisham, those types. I kept aside a couple of Grishams and I kept aside a couple of, ah, uh, what is he, not Robert Ludlam, the other one, Tom Clancy. I kept aside a couple of Tom Clancy's, a couple of Grishams, and then everything else just is going. So I had a couple of these really big uh, Richard North Patterson books who I do actually like. These, these were good. These um, legal thriller type books, really good. But a lot of them are just going to be unhauled. I just don't have the space and if I want to read them, they're easily gettable from any second-hand or junk shop where I can pick them up very, very cheaply if, I, if the mood strikes me again. Um, also, a lot of Australian fiction that, that I... Mm, a lot of Australian fiction that, that I got really excited about a long time ago and now, yeah, just, it's just not my thing. Uh, one of which is Nick Earls. Sorry, Nick. Um, I've actually met him and been to a couple of seminars with him and things like that. He's a really nice guy. And eh, just don't want to read your books. Sorry, sunshine. Um, so they were being unhauled as well. Um, th these were a gift. I never read them. I'm not owning up to the fact that anyone else in my, in my, in my house read them either. But all of the E.L. James uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and Darker and Dark, all these, all being unhauled. Also not mine, but a whole bunch of these Mary Moody's. We had, uh, uh, you know, all French au revoir and the long hot summer. Yeah. And a lot of um, travel. I, I was, I, at one point I was very interested in travel logs and, you know, people that did interesting travel shows and I would buy the books of those. And I still watch those shows. It's just reading the books of a travel series. Maybe not so interesting. This one was really good and I got it, the whole box set. Michael Palin travels the world. It's just time for it to get off my shelf, I think. Uh, it was a great series on TV, the BBC. You can still pick it up and watch it. Uh, and it was called, oh, it was full, there was all of them. It was Full Circle, uh, Around the World in 80 Days, and Pole to Pole. So we did three different series of TV shows, all of them released as individual books and then released as a box set. They were really good. Um, I probably, if I had to recommend which one to go with, just watch them on TV, any one of those three, three series. Uh, watch them online or on TV, on the BBC, or buy the DVD or whatever. Uh, they're very entertaining series. Michael Palin is so funny. He just doesn't write as well as he does TV shows. So in broad strokes, I'm getting rid of those exact books, but a lot of the stuff relating to that, um, I hope that makes sense. So a lot of thrillers and mysteries, legal thrillers, a lot of really big uh, um, hardcover fiction books and non-fiction books that it just don't interest me anymore. Unloading a lot of Australian stuff that was written a long time ago that just hasn't really aged well. And what else was there? A lot of dictionaries and encyclopedias and along those lines. So it's a sad day. We're seven boxes of books going to be unhauled tomorrow. So I'm not going to be doing another unhaul video for a very long time. <laughs> this, is, this is two decades of book collecting and reading. Uh, and I finally have my library that holds a lot of books and I've got a couple more bookshelves that hold more books. And then everything else, almost everything else is going. So it's, it's just definitely a time to say goodbye. Oh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about how you feel about unhauling. Um, I really, it really has been cathartic a little bit. It's a very sad thing to let books go. I don't do it very lightly. But over the last couple of years, I've tried to use the library more. I've tried to gift more books and, you know, to gift some of my books and not expect them back. 
um, but actually giving bunches of my books away is not something I've ever done before. And I'd be interested to see, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts about unhauling for yourself. Does, does your library just continue to grow and grow and grow? Or are you constantly snipping it away and, and uh, I'm just a little bit precious about my books? It is really hot in this garage and I need to go. But, but first I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to do another little video about the stuff that I found in these boxes. So I'm going to do one more boxes, boxes, boxes video. There's been two or three of them so far. I'm just going to do a random boxes, boxes, boxes video to finish off the garage, the garage series. And then we'll move into the book, what do you call it? The library series. Ah, it's been a, it's been a big day. <sighs> Sad. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, wherever you may be. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.